Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. We're at the last five of my 25 uh, songs that make my Christmas more Christmassy. Uh, and we're, we've still got some silly ones here because the holidays are a time for a little bit of silliness, a little bit of frivolity, a little bit of stuff that you can't get away with during other times of the year. Uh, so I throw these things in here just for fun because they break up the sentimentality, the, uh, you know, more religious stuff, the more uh, serious things that come out during the holiday. You throw some silly stuff out there and uh, you get that full rounded bunch of fun that the whole family can enjoy for the most part. Next one on my list, this is number 21. So we're, we're almost there, uh, is another really silly one. It's All I Want for Christmas is My Two Front Teeth, uh, which is, you know, a wish for kids of a certain age. Uh, when, when the teeth are coming in, when they've fallen out and you get your little speech impediments, your, your lisps and your whistles uh, that come through. And if the song is done properly, you get all of that in the song. And it is adorable. It is funny. It is something we can all relate to uh, as people who have grown up and especially parents who have kids of that age uh, can relate to it. Probably much to the chagrin of the kids who are of that age because we all know that song gets played and it gets pointed out every time the kid who's missing the front teeth manages one of those whistles or lisps or anything that's mentioned in the song. But generally, it's a fun song. I think everyone enjoys that one. Uh, another one uh, that, that's on my list here is kind of a, an edgy one. It's, it's not the uh, most family-friendly Christmas song, uh, and it's got a bit of a hard edge to it. And it's uh, it's called Jingle Hell's Bells, which is kind of an ACDC mashup of uh, Jingle Bells. It pays tribute to the style of uh, the hard rock group ACDC. Throws some holiday flavor in there. It's got some good guitar in it. Uh, I'm not sure how popular or uh, well-known it is, uh, but I stumbled across it years ago, and I have thoroughly enjoyed it every year since then. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, just rocking. And it's up there with uh, I Am Santa Claus, which is uh, another uh, heavy metal, hard rock kind of tribute. There's a lot of these hard rock and roll, heavy metal Christmas uh, mashups uh, that are out there that, that are just lots and lots of fun, but not necessarily everyone's cup of tea. But I think the uh, the dichotomy of having a Christmas song that is just totally shredding on the guitar and growly and shouty and, and grungy uh, is a lot of fun and something different from, say, you know, Nat King Cole's O Tannenbaum or, uh, you know, Elvis's Blue Christmas or anything by Bing Crosby. You can't get much further from Bing Crosby than ACDC. Um, and Jingle Hell's Bells isn't done by ACDC, but it's done in their style. So uh, there'll be links to all this stuff. So you can check it out if you've never heard it before. Uh, another one, uh, and these next two uh, are very good, solid Christmas classics in my house. They are ones that were played every Christmas morning on 45s on the record player. Uh, my father has them in his collection. Uh, and they're two songs by Yogi Jorgensen, uh, who is a humor parody uh, performer from way back. Uh, and this is his uh, Norwegian um, character, his, his uh, Minnesotan type character. Uh, so you, you may notice some stuff uh, that relates to Fargo. If you know Fargo, you'll, you'll recognize the, uh, the accent in, in these songs. And the first one is Yingle Bells, which is a version of Jingle Bells where all sorts of things go wrong uh, up north. And it's really cold. There's a whole lot of snow. And uh, 
it's funny. It's amusing. It's especially amusing uh, if you're familiar with uh, with the accent and with the uh, regional uh, specificities of a lot of the stuff. Uh, and another, the other one uh, from Yogi Jorgensen is "I just go nuts at Christmas," and that tells the story of a family Christmas in his household with all of the craziness that goes on, the relatives not getting along, the everything goes wrong. And it's absolutely hilarious. It's a great little story song. It pays tribute to a whole bunch of typical holiday tropes. It's the sort of thing that is definitely in the flavor of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation or a number of the other uh, humorous holiday movies over the years, except this came out long before all of them. uh, And if you haven't heard it, definitely give it a listen. I think most people will enjoy this one and be able to appreciate it. Uh, Again, especially if you appreciate or have knowledge of the time period it came from and the references that are made in it. If you don't know the references, hit up Google. Uh, It adds to the song if you understand the references uh, a little bit. And now the last one, the one I'm going to close my list out with, because these are in no particular order, mind you. Uh, I just roughly grouped them together. Uh, But this is a song by the Pogues, who are kind of a uh, rough-edged band. Uh, If you know them, they they have a lot of... uh, drinking songs, a lot of rock and roll, a little bit of a punk edge to them. Uh, and this is Fairy Tale of New York, uh, which, which is a story about a guy who's down on his luck and, and his woman and the knockdown drag out arguments they have. And the uh, starts out with Christmas Eve in the drunk tank and... It's a wonderful story song, and it speaks a lot about passion and the stupid things that people do and how, in the holidays, they get over all of these little disagreements and and step back and really realize uh, what's really important. and and start working to treat themselves better, to treat each other better. And it's just a great slice of life song. And I think it's one of the more interesting nostalgia songs, one of the more interesting um, emotional songs, because it's got its bittersweet edge to it, but it is ultimately hopeful and, and amusing. Uh, Of course, I find it amusing. I think most people find it amusing. But it's got some heart to it. And anyone who's been watching uh, these videos for a while, especially my movie reviews, my TV show reviews, you know that heart is a really important thing to me in my entertainment. It elevates things above the basics. It makes them have more meaning, have more staying power, be more relatable. And uh, I think Fairy Tale of New York really nails that. So if you're familiar with it, uh, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not familiar with it, you should find the link that I'm going to be posting and listen to it. And uh, I think you'll understand how it uh, plays into everything else that I really dig in uh, in music and entertainment, uh, and especially holiday music. So those last five, that's all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth, Jingle Hell's Bells, Yingle Bells, I Just Go Nuts at Christmas, and Fairy Tale of New York. So that's 25 songs uh, that make Christmas more Christmassy for me. Uh, you'll be able to find links to all of them in the uh, behind the scenes blog posts that I have attached to these videos. So look them up, play them on YouTube, buy them from wherever you buy your music. Uh, you know, the, the, a lot of these artists are, are long gone, uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, there's not a place for them in your playlist. So enjoy these during the Christmas season uh, or any time of the year if you really want to. Uh, personally, I stay away from Christmas music when it's not December. Uh, because that way I don't get fed up with it. 
that quickly. So of this last batch, tell me which one you like the best. Tell me which version of it you like the best or what related songs you want the best. And since this is the last batch uh, that I'm posting about here, let me know anything I left off that you think I should have on here. And uh, if you like the stuff that I talk about, give me a thumbs up right below this video. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified when these things come out. And if you know anyone else who's interested in the stuff I talk about, share this or one of my other videos with them so they can get involved in the conversation. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.